for me. Thank you. Thank you for forgiving this ass. Thank you so much, Anita. Thank you so much. Come on, hug me one more time, please. Thank you so much, Anita. Thank you so much. My brother. I was telling you for that me. I completely relate to the whole line about Asia. We have done it. Too many girls. It's a banger. You all, so Nita ship is finally sailing again. Tofa and Anita, they've reconciled. Like, they reconciled during the Saturday night party. And guys, they kissed. It was such a beautiful sight to behold. Um, at first, when the party started, they were dancing alone, trying to prove a point. Like, they were partying so hard alone. But thankfully to some of the housemates, they were shot talking to Tofa, talking to Anita. To our greatest surprise, Tofa went to Anita and Anita did not chase him away. He started dancing. See guys, every most of the housemates, they are rooting for this ship. Because even Wani and Andi, they hugged each other when they saw um, Tofa and Anita dancing together, holding each other. Wani and Andi, they hugged each other and from back, one of the twins pushed Tofa closer to Anita, which was so cute. It was really cute, guys. Um, before we could say Jack, we saw the Tonita ship kissing. Guys, Anita and Tofa, they were literally kissing. It was so, so cute. I was like, oh, It was such a cute moment. From there, they started parting together doing shipping things together and all and let's not forget the saturday night party was lit even though the dj i was not understanding him at all seeing people on traditional outfits he was just playing i don't know he was doing his own thing but trust wani and andy to always deliver no matter what the dj they play these guests they were on the dance floor they were partying hard including oyenka back to what we are saying so far and anita so the saturday night party finished and they went back in the ass definitely they must have a conversation which they did so they were trying to talk and um sean later walked in yeah he came and he was trying to explain to anita that um what Tofa did is not like a new thing it's not like that deep because he has done it to several girls and Anita was asking him, okay, how long did you keep it? How long did you keep it from the girls? It was like longer than um, what Tofa did, like longer than the time Tofa did. He has lied to many girls about his age. That is guess that he is younger than, he has lied to them that he's older than them just to like um, keep the relationship. And he was giving reasons why he had to do that, saying that once some girls know that you are younger than them, any small issue they would just like to bring out the age thing like oh oh you are this now it's not your fault you are 24 it's not your fault yeah why won't you behave like a child when you are 25 why won't you do this when you are 26 but if he had been he is older like 36 or something and that same issue comes up they won't bring age into the matter they will be like oh i don't like what you are doing like they will just trash it out yeah we just like talk the talk about it but if they find that that they are older than you any small issue they would like to bring age in the matter oh i don't blame is because you are 26 oh you are young oh you are behaving like a shy you are believe you are behaving like your age so he was giving uh sean was giving um anita reasons why he had to why he why he has been in that situation, why he had to lie about his age to guess he has been with. And he told Anita that he has even lied, like he has covered up the lie for more than a year and so, yeah. That um, Tofa did just, I think, three to four weeks. But Anita was like, in this ass, three to four weeks is like more than a year, which he agreed. He said he's not forcing Anita to like, Take it lightly, yeah. People differ, so Anita knows why she's reacting like that. But she's just trying to explain to Anita that this is not a new thing. 
he has done it to several girls. He had to lie about his age to increase his age to just like keep the relationship. And you understand where Tofa was coming from that he believes Tofa was scared. Yes, he believed Tofa is was scared of losing the relationship. Like ah, if this girl find out that I'm younger than Anna, she might want to leave me. That he knows the trauma he knows the stress Tofa has been through trying to like think about ways you'll be able to tell anita the truth and everything yeah so that aside Tofa and anita was still discussing when femi walked in there's one no during the issue between tonita femi has been there talking to anita like to be honest Femi has been there for Tofa. He has been talking to Anita back to back. So when he saw them, I believe he saw them kiss in the Saturday night party and now they are together discussing. Femi was so happy. He was like, oh, they are his favorite sheep. He was literally thanking Anita for accepting Tofa. He was thanking Anita, thanking Tofa that even if he leaves the house, like uh, they, sh they should not break up they should continue with the sheep he loves them he loves to see them together they are so cute see guys femi was so happy femi is a big fan of tonita sheep femi is a huge fan of tonita sheep because he was so so happy he was super happy guys after even taki he came back again to meet tofa alone and was like tofa thank you i am so happy you guys are back I am so happy you guys should not quarrel again. This ship, this ship should not sink. Guys, Femin was genuinely happy for Tofa and Anita. But some people were still looking for Suj in all of this. They were literally looking for Suj in all of this. And it was really a cute moment and all. But what got me worried, what got me thinking, what got me stressed in all of this is me knowing that Tofa is still lying, guys. Tofa is still lying. I was like, this guy. Because Tofa told Anita at first year, he told Anita that he's the same age as Anita. Yeah. And we all know that Anita is 29. And he knows Anita is 29. So in telling Anita that, he is same age as Anita means that he is saying that he is 29. That apart. When Anita confronted him again, he said they should just leave it blank. This, that. Anita will find out when she goes at lie number two. The worst lie of it is him not telling Anita that he is ready to speak. He is ready to reveal his age. And now he told Anita that he is 26 years old. Maybe because Anita mentioned earlier during when Ebika questioned them during the Saturday, uh, Sunday live edition that she thinks uh, someone told her that Tofa is 26 years. Maybe that is why right. Tofa decided to play along with the 26 years. Guys, Tofa is not 26 years. Tofa is 24 years. I've seen different evidences online showing that Tofa is 24 years. So that is what is stressing me at like, why you see you are going to why 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 are you doing this too far why didn't you just say you are 24. but on the other hand i think Tofa thinks if he said 24 there would be no chance because 26 is kind of reasonable being that it is just three years apart but 24 anita would look him like a baby anita, anita would see him like a child 24 a whole five years apart he thinks maybe that would be too much for Anita to handle, but it is not a matter because even when he said he's 26, Anita cried, she was stressed, her brain was turning on its own, she was literally confused. You allowed this girl go through all this trauma, all this stress, all this everything for another lie. It is so crazy, yo. It is so crazy. Just imagine what would happen if. Anita comes out and find out that Tofa is actually 24 and not even 26. She will definitely block Tofa everywhere. She is not going to talk to Tofa again. She is not going to talk to Tofa again. I can't wait to see what will happen during their interview, their media rant when they are out of the house. But Tofa is a liar, guys. I'm not judging him like overall, but on this issue, 
<laughs> he's a big liar guys <laughs> but um i'm still going to talk about how femi went to cassia and femi was telling cassia to give kelly Ray a chance he <laughs> was like cassia we need to talk i need to talk to you and kelly Ray. Cassia was like i don't understand why 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 do you want to talk to me he was like eh, he might be leaving tomorrow that is today sunday he might be leaving so he needs to talk to cassia and when he was finally with cassia i was basically begging cassia to give kelly Ray a chance that kelly the cassia should give kelly Ray a try that if it doesn't work out she can just like lock up see it was just like ah i beg you i beg you give him a try if it doesn't work out you can just lock up stuff like that before someone called him and distracted their conversation yeah so i think that is all for now trust me to bring you guys more gist more updates yeah so please don't forget to click on the subscribe button also please please like this video click on the like button share and comment